Hello folks, it's time for another installment of our Video Byte series. This time we examine what interesting trick Maze Ransomware is doing, having borrowed it from Ragnar Locker, and how it can encrypt files unchecked. So sit back, relax, here comes the facts. Maze Ransomware takes a page from Ragnar Locker. Researchers from Sophos recently identified a new feature of the Maze ransomware after investigating an attack on one of their customers. The new feature involves Maze first failing to infect a system through its traditional methods, then going the extra step of downloading and launching a virtual machine on the victim system. Once the virtual machine is running, the malware connects it to the local hard drives as a share, then launches the ransomware from inside the virtual machine. This will encrypt the files in the shared folders. The worst part is, this method of encryption is incredibly effective as security or logging tools do not have eyes inside of the virtual machine, so the malware encrypts files without interruption. This method was originally observed by Ragnar Logger back in May, and many researchers were surprised to see the same functionality built into a different ransomware family. Ragnar Locker used a 400 megabyte Windows XP image to infect systems, and for some reason, the maze actors decided they wanted a Windows 7 image, which is about 1.4 gigabytes in size. The time and system requirements, like space and processing power, to launch this form of attack would usually be a red flag to anyone monitoring the network. However, since this method of ransomware infection seems to be a last resort for maze, it could mean that we may only see it from an attack that has already gained persistence on the network and no what the endpoints are capable of and or how much anyone would notice two gigabytes being downloaded without user activity that's it for today's video bite stay safe thanks for watching i'll see you next time